Thanks for tuning into the Texas Scratch King channel. In this video you will hear an interview with an old school dogman Jerry J. Holloway taken years ago by Donrist. Donrist begins asking Jerry, who was your first dog? I was given my first dog by an old dogman named Jim Searcy. Jim was from Chattanooga, Tennessee. The first dog I got was Smokey from A.D. Braswell. He used to pull my three children on a wooden sled with cement blocks. I built the sled for him. How long have you been interested in these dogs? I've been in the dog's way over 40 years. When and where was your son Jerry Jr. born? And how many children do you have? He was born July 20, 1959 in Andrews, Texas. Four boys and one girl four steps. One boy and three girls. What dogmen have you known and stand out from the rest? For me that would be Jim Searcy and I also got to know H.A. Smale from Ohio Tom Sitzes Pat Sitzes. Ed Crenshaw A.D. Braswell from Andrews, Texas where my dog Smokey came from. He won four against Ed Crenshaw. Others that stand out for me are Howard Teal, Bill Cotton, John Cotton, Jim Taylor, Maurice Carver, Pete Sparks, Floyd Boudreau, Farrell Skinner, Jerry Coates and Howard Heinzel. Who is your all-time favorite dog? I'll have to say my old Dean bitch that was a sister to Boudreau Blind Billy. She was a double-bred Die Bo by Tudor's Die Bo. Don Maloney and Don Mayfield had dogs down from Die Bo. Don Maloney told me to go get Dean from Earl Skinner. What type of conditioning have you done with the dogs? In the old days it was road work and in fields. Now I build use and sell treadmills for $1,500 and carpet mills for $300 with the same keep I use as included. Can you recall any roles or matches you have competed in or seen? Once at a convention I told a group of black men that my dog would whoop any of their dogs and I would whoop any of them. I then beat five. And I three one to five money roles with ages one and a half to two years old against some acquaintances of Ed Crenshaw and myself. As well as sewn friends out of New Mexico in a ball field across the street. I also whooped Junior Bush with Smokey and with Gator. Also with a dog named Rose who I called Screaming Mama. Jim Taylor Brothers out of Mississippi George Sattler. Screaming Mama beat Stosh a Curvino bred dog raised by John Cotton. Did you along with Boudreau and Hornsby own Boudreau's Prissy? Yes I bred her with Floyd knowing. To get Prissy the second. Prissy was really Boudreau's spook and Floyd called her sissy too. She was older and he didn't want anyone to know I really had spook. I called her Prissy Lester told me Poison Eye is a winner of many. I've talked to a few men in registry businesses who have either known the dogs in Prissy's pedigree or have researched the pedigree. And they swear up and down it's right the way it is I'm just telling you it's spook aka sissy. What can you tell me about the Boudreau bred Holloway's bud? I didn't really like bud he screamed while fighting. He was a mouth dog and a good dog. He won many and was undefeated for me. When and where were you born and did you fight pro? I was born October 5, 1933 born and raised in Tennessee. And I fought in Florida for five years as a batam weight. Who do you believe keeps some of the better game dogs in the country nowadays? I'd say dogs from Florida them oiler dogs. They say they're the most game of a dog living. Mountain Man has some of the gamest dogs living too. Homer is undefeated in about seven matches and I'd say dogs from Boudreaux George Long with the Red Boy Blood. Did you know Leo Kennard? I used to hang out with Leo at Leo's house just like it was my daddy's. Leo gave me a dog called Tilly that went in against a red bitch and won in 3 to 4 minutes. I seen you as a handler and a referee etc. in your friend and mine by Pete Sparks long ago am I right? Yes that was me. What do you like most about the dogs? I just like a game dog. Have you known anyone with Gamecocks? Oh yeah I know someone with Blue Grays Piles. He won 500 to 600 matches in a season. To pick the best he tests with muffs he fights with blades. He's Jake Sperling he's a bootlegger. What type of medical have you done on your dogs? I do all my medical stitching. Worming shots IVs. Shots in the heart to save a down dog. What is the average number of dogs you've kept on your yard over the years? Hardly ever over 10 once in a while 12 to 15 with pups. If you could wish one thing for these dogs what would it be? I'd like to see it carried on by men that believe in a the dog and not just in it for the winnings. What other animals have you and your family owned? We never owned nothing but pits. We never owned anything else. What do you feed your dogs? Cheap food 17% if you feed high protein they'll be eating their stool. 26 to 30% when conditioning. What incident from the past stands out with the dogs? It was when John Cotton couldn't believe it but I went in against Junior Bush 2 to 3 to 1. 4 to 6 pounds light went uphill to beat Junior with Gator in 1 hour and 12 minutes. What ways do you test gameness? I can't find out how game they are. Most of my dogs bite so hard right off the chain. I don't like to roll a dog to death. The more you roll one the more likely he is to quit in the pit. Do you prefer chains? 
Cables or cages? I prefer chains and cages for brood females or pups. How much do you plan on being involved in the dogs in the future? I've pretty much gone as far as I can. The bitches I have in my yard are about the best there is. I will continue with the dogs. Thanks for the interview and for Jerry's keep which will not be included with this interview. Thanks again for listening to the Texas Scratch King channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Like and share the video. Until the next time my friends as we always say. Never submit to life and keep scratching every time.